raise your hand and we will invite you in to answer your question. If you can keep your questions on topic, that means no support questions, no when launches are, okay? Keep them on topic and please be precise about your questions uh, that we have to answer. As far as who answers them, the panelists here, once you have asked the question, will invite one of the panelists in to raise their hand to answer that question. And then we will uh, have the answer, uh, the question answered for you. And if anybody wants to expand on that off the panel, they can do. Great to see everyone here. Quick shout out to the rest of the panelists. We've got Alberta Sanchez uh, from Alicante in Spain. Here's Greg's here as well. Uh, Andy Burks, Anje, Antonio Fredic from Portugal, uh, Charles Song, Dan Street, Neil Parkinson. Oh, Susie McRae, Hula Hoop is here, Julie and uh, Renata from Croatia. Fantastic guys that you are on here uh, helping us out with this very first Q&A session. Uh, what time is it? Uh, we have got uh, one more minute and then we will get going. If you do not want to be on uh, asking the question live, but you have got a question, that Q&A session is up there as well. So if you put it in there, I will try and circle back around uh, for it. Okay, then, Marty, can you invite in, please? Uh, we'll get going straight away. This is only going to be on for 90 minutes. So uh, I will we'll run the list through so that we know what's going on, so you know what it's order. Uh, we will start with uh, Shanze. Please, Marty. Then we're going to go to uh, Johnny. Dalty. And after that, we'll go to Steve. And after that, I'll find somebody else. Okay, so Shanze, please, if you can unmute yourself and ask the question. Shanze, can you unmute yourself and ask your question, please? So I don't have any question. Uh, thank you. Okay, excellent. That's a really good start. Thanks very much, Shanze. Uh, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. If you can mute yourself now, that would be absolutely fantastic. That's uh, a great start. Okay, Johnny, uh, Johnny, if you can uh, unmute yourself, please, and ask your question. Johnny Dalty, can you unmute yourself to ask your question, please? Uh, okay, we'll move on then. Steve, if you can invite Steve in, please. Please, guys, if you're not going to answer ask a question, please put your hand down because otherwise it's going to get very confusing. Okay, so the first three is not going very well at all, is it? Three strikes, you're out, Red. Come on, let's I know, it's, get, it's getting like that, isn't it? It really, really is. Do you know what I mean? Okay, let's Red, go to Bob Price then. Red, there is a question on the chat by Michael. Yeah. Okay, let, yeah, let's go to that one then. Yeah, the I'm question gonna, uh, is, will we be able it. to pay, sorry, will we be able to pay go our, can I ready? Can I go? Awesome. Go. Will we be able to pay our one-time monthly fee when the soft launch opens or do we wait for a full launch? The second part of it is also, will we be able to pay daily commissions during soft launch? Okay, any other panelists want to answer this? Just raise your hand. Okay, Susie, go for it. Okay, so 
Um, my understanding is you will not be able to pay your one-time monthly fee until we go to the official launch. And if you're talking about the commissions, um, the, those are bonuses during soft launch. And also my understanding is that those will be available as they occur and you will be able to uh, withdraw those bonuses as they appear in your withdrawal wallet. So that's my understanding. Okay, anyone else from the, from the panel want to interject with any extra to that? Yeah, I can add to that. Um, so I said the person is asking, are we gonna get paid daily during soft launch? Yes, you could get paid daily during soft launch if you have a team that is active daily. Okay, so as, and it's a one-time bonus. So as these people come in, you're gonna get paid a one-time bonus. So if you get them every day, you will get paid every day. Get them once every week, you get paid once every week. So that's just to add to what you said, Susie, that's all. Fantastic, <laughs> anyone else before we move on? Okay, excellent. So uh, let's try and drag somebody else in. Uh, Mark, Marty, if you could bring William Delont, uh, Delont in and Peter Sarur and Teresa in. They've got their hands raised. Okay, we'll do If you Bob, can mute yourself, guys. We'll do Bob first. Bob Pierce, he's already here. Okay, Bob Pierce. Yes. Can you, unmute yourself, please. Can you hear me all right? Who's Am that? Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, this is kind of a question I asked myself, so there may be some others. I have a uh, charitable foundation <clears throat> for our family and uh, I bought an account for the foundation to self-fund the foundation. It, the account is in the name of Pierce, Pierce Foundation. Is that gonna be very difficult to get the bank to recognize that I'm not, it's not an individual, but it's an organization. Is there any problem or should I be doing anything to make that smoother. Right now, the name of the account is in the name of the foundation, Pierce Foundation. I think I put care of Robert after it just to match my, my first name. Anybody know? Uh, okay, Bob, thanks a, very uh, much. I'd like to invite Dr. Bill Williams in to answer this. Bob, well, I think you're gonna be okay. As long as you control the email, you control the account, your bank won't too much care about it. You're going to deposit money out of your wallet into whatever place you want to deposit it. So you'll have a separate account for sending your money to the charitable foundation. Now, if you have a tax event associated with earning that money, you'll have probably needing to put a tax account number into on passives database. And so you'll probably get something like a 1099 or a, a statement of earnings of some sort at the end of the year from on passive, I'm guessing. You'll have to take care of that based on what is your uh, legal entity you put the money into. See your accountant for more information. Yeah, okay, that, that gives me a framework. Thank you very much. Any other panelists want to uh, add to that? Michael Williams? Uh, yes, so the, the most important thing is going to be your wallet, okay? So when you set up the wallet, you will have to you, uh, do KYC, know your client. So you have to provide um, the wallet provider that information. And so that's where you would put your uh, foundation information. You'll need to submit, you know, whatever documents you have for your foundation. And so the, the funds will then go directly to your foundation account. Okay, so you'll be fine at that time, all right? Yeah, that's no problem. I've got the documents, I'll just, yep, okay, very good. Thanks very much for your question, that's Bob. That's gonna be great. Okay, just make sure you mute yourself now, that'll be great. Julie, what we got up in the chat area, please? I see one from Dina Maldi um, in the Q&A. Just to confirm, that if a team member doesn't have enough to pay the first month subscription, their account will be paused till the money accumulates in their wallet, 
or is that uh, applicable only as a second month? Okay, any hands up to answer this one on the panel? Okay, I'll answer that one then, uh, seeing as no one's got their hand up. As far as I know, everyone gets a seven day free trial from Word Go. Okay, so you will have seven days uh, with a period, within that period to not only use all the products and services of on passive, but also to fund your account within that seven days period. If you have not got any money to fund that account on your seven days, your account is paused and you are only allowed to use the free services of your account. You have obviously got uh, time throughout that period of time to add funds to your account to activate it. So this will happen on month one and on month two and three and four, et cetera, et cetera. If any time in any of the months you have not got enough funds to fund your account, your account is paused. Anybody will add to it? Okay, so we'll move on. Okay, well, let me just say this. Uh, Ash has said uh, we're going to have a grace period. We don't know how long that grace period is going to be, but that isn't something we should be worrying about, okay? So when we launch, we're going to have seven days, like Red said, to come up with a payment, and then it's going to be paused, and we're going to have time. So, and I tell for those of you who are active, and I know the people that are here are generally the ones that are active, chances are you're going to get that money during soft launch, right? Just be active and we shouldn't, we wouldn't worry about that. But I wouldn't worry about it. We're going to have enough time, grace period wise. That's it. Thank you. Okay, Marty. And of course, this is only in effect for the initial founders. The other part of that that Red said is as we get running and people come in as a reseller or whatever, they have seven days to pay, they pay, they get out. But the, the grace period is for everybody right now. As said, he's not leaving anybody behind. We don't know exactly how long, like he said, and uh, it, it will be taken care of. And remember, if you have more than one account, your stronger account, if one is stronger than the other, you can back feed into an account that may not have the right amount of funds. I, if that, I hope that helps. Okay, Marty, can you invite Peter Suri in, please? Uh, William Delorme and uh, Omawunmi, I think you say it, please. Red, let me know if I can read another question, please. Yeah, go for one more question. And once Marty gets those in, we'll go then back to uh, the hand raisers. How can an account of a deceased person be transferred to their loved one if on passive was not reflect on their will? Okay, Marina Favic, you've got your hand up for this one. Yeah, thanks. I've actually just handled um, a case like that with support. That's why I'm answering this. We will need the death certificate of the, the deceased, obviously. Um, the email and password that they used obviously you would have it as their beneficiary and then proof that you are their beneficiary all that those documents need to be sent to support and they will take it from there to transfer their account i hope Fantastic. that answered thanks any other panelists want to add to that before we move on andy birch go for it Hi, uh, Marina, can I just ask, uh, uh, this is because there is no, at this stage, there is no money um, uh, payable from the account. It might get a little bit more confusing um, from the point of view of once the account starts earning money um, uh, and there is a regular income coming in from that account, then um, uh, it might have to go through, certainly in the UK, it would have to go through probate before it can be switched across. But the, the, the process from on passives point of view would still remain the same. But any income coming from that would have to look towards the estate first, um, particularly if there's no will in place. Yeah, that's okay, what I so would I always recommend when we have our Q&As with Charles um, as well. This has come up. 
And um, we always encourage everyone to make a will if you don't have one, to make sure that the, your beneficiaries are listed. This is an asset for generations to come and it's transferable, it is willable. So you can put it in your will. Um, yes, when we go into our official launch, th there's going to be the face recognition video and all the rest of it. So it is going to get a bit more tricky. It will still be able to be done as long as you have the correct documentation. It might take longer, but it will be, yeah, as you say, it, uh, probate is a holding period where all that will get sorted out. But the, the account will continue to grow. It won't be terminated or suspended or anything until it's official and then it will just get transferred over. Yeah, the, the, importance of, yeah the, the importance of having a will, particularly in the likes of, uh, of Australia, the UK, throughout Europe and the States, it may differ substantially in, the, in Africa, I'm not quite clear, but, but um, if you haven't, um, uh, and you haven't made it clear, it creates more problems than actually having the account. So I, I would um, uh, stress to everybody, it is well worth making sure that everybody has a will in place because as Marina said, it will be passed on to generations. It is imperative that you let people know where it's supposed to go. If there is no no uh, will in place there was no beneficiary in place um, certainly in the UK it ends up in Queen's realm and you're never going to get it um, but it could be worth millions in 50 years time so it is well worth everybody's making sure that they have a will in place specifically stating what you're going to do with this this particular part of it yeah, it's the same in South Africa. We all, you know, all else it goes to the state. But if you've got, if you are managing that account, for example, like, uh, for example, I'm, ha I'm managing my mother's account, who's 88. I have access to her information and I could send a message from her back office because I have access. Um, so, yes, it's like almost like a power of attorney. Okay, thanks yeah, very much, guys. <clears throat> Keep in mind, everybody, that, you know, a lot of people that have multiple accounts, we're not, you know, you're just thinking about your original account. Well, if you have multiple accounts, make sure you have those, uh, that, that documentation for each one of those accounts. Yeah, good idea. Thanks very much. Okay, we're going to do two of the hands up and then we'll go back to the Q&A with Julie. So first up, please, Peter Suri, can you mute yourself and ask your question? Well, Suri, sorry. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for taking my question. Uh, uh, and regarding to the uh, bonus positions, the three bonus positions, it's been a while since Ash talked about this. Um, and I believe, uh, if I understood it correctly, it's either 125 to 150 people in your team. Um, so if anybody knows the exact number of in your team, and also are these personally sponsored or team total? Okay, anybody open to the floor with this? Just raise your hand. Neil Parkinson, take it away. Yeah, thanks, Peter. It's, this is a question that's um, been raised a, a few times. My, my understanding is with respect to the 125 uh, people, I think it's 125 direct referrals attracts uh, an extra free position. But from a team perspective, I think it's 10,000 in the team, uh, and then you qualify for three free accounts. So I hope that, uh, hope that clears that up, uh, Peter. Anybody else would like to jump in on this one at all? Yeah, Michael, if I, if, if I may, um, I don't believe there is uh, an exact number as to how the triple re-entry bonus is going to work. Ash used examples, he used the example of 10,000, he used the example of 125. There isn't any exact figure. Um, what people should take away is that there is a mechanism in place that is going to uh, ensure that your income grows to infinity, okay? There's a mechanism in place that's gonna help your income grow to infinity. That's what the triple re-entry bonus does, okay? Um, so we shouldn't put um, numbers on it to say it's 125 or it's 10,000. That information isn't clear at this point, um, but we do know um, that the income will definitely go to infinity, okay? Thanks very much, Michael. Anybody else before we move on? 
can I follow up with another question, Red? Or yeah, sure, quickly. Uh, the uh, is there any yearly fee as a founder? I believe there is uh, nine ninety seven, if I'm not mistaken, for per ash. Is that correct? Anybody want to go for this one? If not, I sure. will. Uh, I'll, Antonio. I'll... Yes, uh, uh, thank you for your question. Yes, it will be a early um, early fee, 1997, uh, in my concern, if you agree with me. Okay. 1997, uh, a yearly, early, yearly fee of founders. Okay, thank okay, you, Antonio. Thank you. Michael? Yes, that, that is correct, but we also have to keep in mind that that amount comes out of earnings, so it's not of, out of pocket, okay? Uh, it's going to be out of earnings. Uh, so, you know, it's going to be, it's optional. So, you know, founders do not have to pay it. It is optional. If they don't pay it, it will, your business is still going to continue. You're still going to be generating income, et cetera. You just no longer be receiving the founder's benefits. Okay. Um, and again, it comes out of earnings. So it really is a non-issue. You won't even notice it. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks for your questions there, Peter. Okay, we'll have one more of the hands raised and then we'll just go to Q&A. Uh, William Delorme, please unmute yourself. Ask your question. Yes, hello. I'm just curious on a soft launch, we'll have all connect. Uh, I know I have read a lot of data on it, but are we going to get visualization of the product itself? on soft launch. Anybody uh, hand raised for answering this question? If not, I will. Okay, as far as OConnect is concerned, um, this is just my understanding and what I believe. OConnect is gonna be the jewel in the crown as far as the products are uh, on passive are concerned. And with anything that's going to really make a splash uh, they will want to keep this back as a bit of a carrot to uh, tease people with as they're going along. As far as the uh, products and services that are going to be rolled out as they are now and through soft launch and into main launch and beyond, we don't know what those are. And if they, these will be rolled out uh, when they are ready for us. But as far as OConnect is concerned, I very much doubt it will be with us for soft launch, but every single product that we have will have a video with it to show us how to navigate it, how to use it, et cetera. I hope that answers your question. Anybody else want to jump in with this? Yeah, I'll just simply add, Red, that um, Ash did mention um, that with O Connect, uh, we're, we're expecting to pretty much take over when it comes to the next school year which is 21-22, uh, uh, which right. said fall, starts, in, starts in September. So uh, I don't expect to see uh, all connect in soft launch. No, exactly, yeah. The, Thanks okay, very much. Okay, okay let's go to... Add, I add, uh, Red, yes, I add that uh, all our products are kind of interconnected. So all connect uh, might come after a few products when they are ready. So OConnect is going to be a bigger product than we going to kind of provide before that. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Greg. And I hope that's answered your question. Over to you, Julie, into the Q&A, please. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, if I could ask uh, Leadership Council, if you could head to Q&A and answer questions because you can type them on and I will read questions from the chat so that we can have more uh, questions answered. The one from the chat from Robert and Manuela, uh, is it possible that searching by name can be unlocked in the community again? That would make our communication easier. Okay. I think uh, collectively as a leadership council, uh, we can address this and see, uh, go down the, the correct avenues to see if we can get this uh, organized. Is that correct, Marty? Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what the question is. I'm not sure what they're asking yeah. for. In the, the community section, if somebody wants to search somebody's name, apparently this is locked at the moment. 
Oh, is it? I did, so, I did. so say, say, for instance, um, they wanted to search Marty DeGarmo. Normally, in the search box in, on the second page of community, uh, after you've logged in, you can put in the person's name in there, click search, and it would pop up all of the posts by oh, Marty DeGarmo. I, I didn't know it wasn't there. I usually just put a first name or a last name, and it always worked. I never tried it. But yeah, I can... Uh find out if it's broke and if it is why and if we can put it back whatever it all i'll find okay. out okay fantastic out Thank, thanks very much okay let's just look at um some more hands raised okay can you invite in please uh patricia shova uh teresa and teriska and anna slater please We'll have one more question, please, from uh, Julie whilst we're waiting. This is from Narelle. She's asking for a lady in South Africa. She asked, how are your shares paid to you? In large amount, repetitive payments into your account is immediately directed to fraud department. I'm not sure what that was, but the question was, how are your shares paid to you? Okay, that's fantastic. Uh, Marina Favic, please. In South Africa. <laughs> okay, firstly, we are not getting paid shares. Um, the wealth is just being shared with us from our CEO. We are founders and we are getting commission as a reseller of the product. So we will get paid in real time in any currency, including a Bitcoin wallet, if you want, Ethereum, whatever currency that um, we have, with the accounts that you have, you will be able to get paid in real time as soon as the commission, um, sorry, the subscription portion for the next month is taken out in the holding wallet for the funding wallet. That's kept aside. The other money will be available to us to withdraw in real time. And be responsible okay. for our own taxes. Let me just add that on as well. Thanks. Most definitely. Yeah, we are very much... Uh, have to pay our own taxes. Anybody else off the panel, please uh, raise a hand or come in, in. Okay, that's fantastic. Can I just ask any of the people who have raised their hands, once they come onto the panel, can you re-raise your hand so I can find you because the list is starting to get quite big. Okay, let's invite in, please, uh, Teresa. Can you unmute yourself and give us your question, please? Yeah, sorry. Sorry, there's no question. Thank you. Okay, you just wanted to be on the panel, eh? Uh, I know, I know your games. <laughs> tech problems, learning tech. Yeah, no worries. Okay, who else have we got on here then? Uh, uh, can we invite, please, uh, Amma Wami, I think, if you unmute yourself, please. Uh, Anna, Anna's here. She has a question. Anna, Go for it, Anna. Hi, guys. Thank you for uh, letting me come on tonight. I have a question. Uh, my, I myself have multiple accounts, and I'm just wondering where we go in the future with this. Can, when you have multiple accounts, can they be paid into a shared wallet, or do each of the individual accounts have to have an individual one for them? Any hands up to answer this? If not, I can go for it. Yes, Mr. Williams can take that. It has to do with money. <laughs> <laughs> sure, not a problem. If not, um, <laughs> go for it. Yeah, so yeah, I, I'm just trying to let others, you know, jump in there and so on. I don't want to hog the stage or anything. Um, yes, it, you're, you're when you when your funds when you're starting to receive funds. Uh, you can have one wallet and attach that one wallet to multiple accounts, okay? Um, so that's how you get that shared experience as you're referring to, right? Or you can have individual uh, wallets for each account. So it's entirely up to you how you want to set that up, okay? Yeah, I, I'm going to say I have actually purchased for family members. So mm -hmm. I've committed to getting a founder position. I'm also committed to paying their first month before it starts off. So I was just wondering if I can put them all through one to start off with. So everything gets paid in one go and then hand them over to the individuals as well. Yeah, so so you can you can have the wallet, like so all your family members can go into your wallet as far as the funds coming in, right? Your income, you can have it set up that way. 
And then at a later time, when you want to transfer uh, each account uh, to your family members, you can also set up individual wallets at that point as well. Thank you very much, Michael. You're welcome. Thanks very Thank much, you Anna. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, we'll have the last one uh, of the hands raised and then we'll go back to Julie. Uh, Patricia, uh, can you unmute yourself, please, Patricia? Fantastic. Let us know what, what's your question, Patricia. Oh, thank you for having us. We have a product like you. Yeah. Okay, you're breaking, you're breaking up a little bit, Patricia. Can you say that again, please? Do we have a product like YouTube? And also, is that going to be censored? And is ONET going to be censored? Okay, anybody want to jump in with this one off the panel? Okay, uh, as far as um, what we've got with ONET and uploading uh, videos, etc., there will be a policy as far as what are allowed and what aren't allowed. And so that will be the control over what is allowed. So uh, the answer to your question is yes, there will be control over it. It will not be a free for all. That is for sure uh, with ONET. Anybody else want to jump in? I concur. No, I, I, I don't know 100%. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you can post stuff, but I'm not, you know, that could be a loaded question. I don't know what you mean by censored. I mean, it would have to be, you know. Yeah, if you, if you, if you go into your back off, if you go into uh, on passive.com now and you pick up the ONET, okay, if you scroll down to the bottom of uh, that uh, page with ONET on it, you come to the FAQs. You can expand those FAQs, so there's a lot more FAQs on it. And one of those FAQs is specific to your question, which you've just asked, Patricia, uh, about censorship of what is allowed and what isn't allowed. And there's quite a long list of what is allowed and what isn't allowed, okay? So that will give you a good idea of what is going to be permitted to be hosted on ONET. I hope that answers your question. Yeah, very good. Uh, yes, I'll... Also, do we have a product like YouTube? Well, yeah, it, we will do, yes, which is uh, ONET will have, which is like YouTube. It's where people will upload their videos. Okay, I thought ONET was Facebook. Well, yeah, the, the, a lot of the things that we've got here are going to be interchangeable for all sorts of things. But yes, there will be a product just for videos. I'm trying to think what it's called now, and I can't remember, actually. Maybe somebody else can tell you what it is. But there will be just for videos. You're for right, sure. um, Red. Um, Ash did say that it was ONET. I mean, we all just founders like you guys, um, still learning. But I remember Ash asked, I remember when I asked about, um, I think, almost like radio, studio, what have you, videos. And he said ONET. And so ONET. it is ONET yeah. is the product. And yes, it's integrated with all the other products. So um, we will be able to use them all together. And also when you upload it, by push of one button, it will be able to send it to all your social media portals and um, platforms. That's correct. Yeah, he said that on second to last uh, webinar, I believe it was. Thank you very much. Okay, back to you then, Julie. What questions have you got for us? Uh, we have from Tajudin in India. Please explain the matrix system and how to join new members after doing direct three founders. Okay, who wants this one? I'll take it. Okay, so. Don't it, Charles. Right, so as I said over and over, we don't have matrix, we have one passive, right? We don't have binary. It's not unilevel, there's no matrix, it's nothing, it's on passive. However, however, we do understand when we say it's three and it is free, that means you need three. We have, you know, the three is gonna have three. That can be done by you or by AI. So what we tell everybody, okay, you come in and you get 10 founders, just simply sign them up directly under you and AI is gonna do the work for you. Because a lot of people are saying, because people have this multi-level marketing mentality, 
an on pass tip is not an MLM, MML, okay? It's not an MLM, MLM, I want to say, sorry, multi level marketing. So take that mentality off your head, okay? Because people have asked me, do I need to bring three and then put three under each of those three? That is not necessary. Just go wide with on passive. You are allowed to be lazy. Go wide. And AI is going to do the work for you. Top to bottom, left to right. Okay? That's I got to say. Thanks, Charles. Michael, do you want to come on? Uh, uh, no. Um, I was going to... Oh, you got your hand raised. So that's okay. Yeah. I, <laughs> this is all new to me, my friend. This raising hand stuff is all new, new to me. Yeah, well, <laughs> unfortunately, my, my army's got better of me and I was trying to be in control of what's going on. So that might just go out the window, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, uh, let's go. Uh, one more off, Julie, and then we'll invite a few more people in. Okay, this is from Rosalind. I am a visual impaired and facial recognition may not be good for me. Uh, I will need another type of verification. I want to make certain that I am able to start when everyone else starts. Okay, I can answer this if nobody else wants it. You can put your hand up if you want it. Okay, as far as KYC is concerned, obviously KYC will be dependent on your own country and there will be various different forms for your own country to verify who you are. Uh, States, UK, all of Europe, it will be the normal, it will be passport, it will be driving license, utility bills uh, or uh, official documentation from official offices. These are all part of KYC. And the third party who will be um, doing our wallets, they would normally require, we'll say, two or three different forms of uh, identification to qualify for your KYC. One of these will be facial recognition, recognition as well. So please do not worry about facial recognition. It's not the only form of knowing your customer. There will be other options available, and this will be on a country basis and will be told to you by the third party who is hosting the wallets. I hope that helps. Anybody want to jump in as well? Yeah, I just want to add that, uh, yes, visual impaired, uh, you can still do facial recognition. I don't think it has to, because there's some of these things that go by the iris, how the iris moves, but also the, the, the ones that you can just take your face the way it is, okay, the facial, features of your face. So don't worry about being visually impaired. It will still be able to recognize your face. That's the key here, even if that's the only option. Thanks very much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, facial, uh, recogni facial recognition, red facial recognition is for our security as well as Ash said that there will be another option. And for each account, they need to have separate phone numbers. and. Uh, because each account has to be, if you have many accounts, then you have to obtain many phone numbers if you don't want to do face recognition. So this was added by Ash. So. Okay, thanks very much, Greg, for that. Uh, Marty, can you invite in uh, a Yodel? And on passive and era Brown, please. And Dwayne Murdoch, if you can invite those in. We'll have one more question off Julie before, whilst they're coming in to the panel. This is also from Dina Maldi. Just to confirm if a team member doesn't have enough to pay the first month subscription, their account will be paused until the money accumulates in their wallet, or is that only applicable on the second month? Andy? Yeah, as Red said earlier, um, at the end of the day, what will happen with the account is that it, it'll just simply be paused uh, from day one. If you're part of a part of a team and your a, a team member um, uh, wishes to help you, then you have that facility to be able to to switch or move money around between your your team members, if you like, so that they can they they can help you out if they've got uh, uh, more of a uh, money in the in the wallet but you basically the the um uh the system will simply be paused until there's enough money <coughs> in the 
in your wallet or you have paid for it. So um, it, either way, it's not a problem. But it starts from the moment that you get that seven day free trial. If you don't pay in that seven day free trial, and then the, the account simply gets paused until you've paid. And as yeah, Ash has I'll... mentioned before, he doesn't want to leave anyone behind. Yeah, the only thing I will add to that, Andy, is as Charles said earlier as well, is that uh, for us founders who are here right now, there will be a period of time to allow us to pay on your first month. So basically, don't worry is the answer. And I think everyone is saying the same thing here. If you're new, if you're new and you just come on the panel, can you raise your hand so I can find you? That would be Fantastic. I'd just like to add to that, yeah, um, that Ash it, did say that we will get a grace period, but everyone must know that subs first month subscription has to be paid by everyone. If you have not paid that subscription in a year, then you will no longer be a founder anyway, because you need to sit and renew your subscription, I mean, your founder subscription as well. And um, But there are different ways. We'll be able to pay it forward to our team members. We'll be able to... Um, you know, send money across from O wallet to O wallet. So Ash said, and he made it quite clear, everyone that is a founder will get activated as a customer with that one-time subscription. We will do whatever it takes to get you guys um, paid up. And you can always borrow the money from someone and they can pay you back once you are activated and start earning commission. Thanks very much, Marina. Anybody else before we move on? Okay, yes, cool. Uh, uh, I, I, go, I, I want to add to that already. Yes. Uh, uh, as far as uh, for the first month, Ash said, as a founder, we will get enough time. I want to make this clear. He said we will have at least two months. If it will be necessary, he will give us more time. That we don't have to worry about that because we know there are some countries and there are some people joined as a founder, but they don't, might not have that money to activate their account. And that, that seven day uh, trial period is new joining customers might be strict for seven days, but for founders who joined, let's say one year ago or two years ago, and they have to pay that amount that's not uh, right away. It has to be uh, two months, or as I said, it might be longer. Uh, during that time, they might earn. Uh, when we refer pausing, its account is going to be kind of active. They are going to earn commission, but uh, they cannot touch the wallet or wallet until they activate that. So this is kind of different and people are mixing up and uh, we are paused in uh, referring, touching the wallet, but the account is going to, as a founder, they will uh, give us a lot of time to be active earning commission, but not touching the money. Yeah, very that good point. Would be two months, if necessary, even longer. They, they don't have to worry about that because some countries that's a big money for them to pay to activate. Uh, they will have enough time to kind of gather that money and uh, activate their account. Thank you. Thanks very much, Greg. Obviously, you know, uh, what we're trying to say here is don't worry um, about it at this stage. We will know, obviously, more the closer we get to that main launch date of what uh, we have to do. Uh, okay, let's uh, unmute, please. Uh, uh, one me, please, if you can unmute yourself and give us your question. Okay, one more time. Amo Wumni. Okay, we'll move on then to on passive, if you can unmute yourself and give us your question. This is going well. Okay, we'll have another one off you then, Julie, please. Did you call for me up next? I'm sorry. 
Um, yeah, please. One... Sorry, I need you to fill in. Okay. Um, just just a quick question for my pending founder accounts: Are we allowed to change sponsor? Anybody for this? I think I've already answered. Uh, you can, if you like, then you have to open another account and your pending uh, account be, uh, will be still a, a pending uh, account. So you can, but it depends on you, but with a new email address. Anybody else want to add into this? Yeah, and, and obviously, if you're going to do that, then you'll lose your date stamp. Because if you've if you've paid your or, or joined as a pending founder last year, for instance, then um, uh, but you no longer want to be with that particular sponsor, then you're going to lose that position or that date stamp. That's um, right. But if yeah. you just want to move that pending founder position to another sponsor, then no, you can't. Okay, fantastic. Anyone else before we move on? Okay, next up, please, uh, Yodel, if you can unmute yourself, please. Ayodele, can you please unmute yourself? All right, thank you. My hey, question is that, yeah, can I go on? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yes, my question is that, uh, how long will it take for ad launch to come after the soft launch? What will determine when ad launch will come after the soft launch? That's my question. Okay, anybody want to go for that? I'll take, I'll take that question. <laughs> go, Charles. Okay, my friends, what will determine is our satisfaction. So we, the founders, right, we're going to be testing the products. And when we test the products, we're going to make sure that everything looks good, feels good, is ready for the public, okay? So that is what will determine when we go into I mean, to hard launch. So if we test it, for example, and there's something that needs to be fixed. Wouldn't you like to see that being fixed? So, so we're doing what we call beta testing or end user testing. In other words, we, the founders, we're going to test it, make sure it looks good enough to go to the public. And then we're going to say, oh, wow, it's great. Everything looks good. All systems say go. And then, as Tamofan has said, we, the founders, together with him, we're going to sit down and decide when we launch it to the public. Does that answer your question? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Okay. Anybody else want to jump in with that one at all? We'll move on. Okay. Uh, Belinda Davis, please, if you can unmute yourself, give us your question. Belinda Davis. Okay, then we'll move back to Julie. If you've got some more questions for me, please, Julie. This is coming from Reggie in Chicago. One of my founders is at college, interested in Academy. Would that be for each department or each instructor any other way? Anyone wanna pick this up? If not, I will. Okay, Dr. Bill. You can purchase individual packages, and I assume there will be some uh, university packages available corporately that Ashish talks about, where an entire uh, educational institution can buy a package. But it'll go either way. Thanks very much, Dr. Bill. There's Anybody else? A question. Sorry, go, Bill. There's also another question that came up, Red. It was about, can I buy additional advertising with my founder position? And the answer is yes. Ash has told us that there's a, an additional opportunity to buy lots of advertising, say $1,000 worth, and you can use your profits to buy more advertising, to buy more potential customers into your personal group. 
So that'll be elective. That's not something that you have to do, but if you wish to, you can have additional advertising dollars put into your account. Thanks very much, Bill. Uh, okay, next up then, uh, we've got Ira Brown. Ira, can you unmute yourself? Give us your question, please. No, okay, Julie, give us a question, please, from Q&A, if you will, whilst we fill in. This is from George. Uh, if, you have, if you have been paused on an account, will that be held against you? Will you not be allowed to renew as founder position after 12 months? And uh, before you answer that question, I asked if Leadership Council, if you can answer any of these questions live, if you could please uh, raise your hand and read the questions and answer, and then dismiss that in the Q&A. Thank you. Okay, thanks very much. Anybody want to answer this one? Want to jump in to answer it? I'm, okay, I'll go for it then. As far as any pause accounts uh, are concerned, um, for the renewal of your founder membership after the 12 months, there will be certain criteria that you will have had to have done to be able to renew your foundership. And one of those is to have an active account through the 12 month period. And having an active account means that you would have had to have paid the 12 monthly subscriptions um, to remain active as a founder. So for instance, if you are paused or you haven't paid for whatever reason, uh, whether it's grace period or for whatever reason it is, my understanding is as long as you have caught up with those 12 monthly payments, through the period of the year, then you will still be eligible to renew your foundership. There might be other criteria that's brought in along the way uh, to renew all your foundership, but until we have that information, uh, I'm afraid we can't give it to you. Anybody else want to jump in? Marty DeGarmo. Yeah, um, Ash wants to come in and address pending founders. Yes, Ash, please, if you want to come in and answer that question. Hey everybody, thank you for uh, inviting me. And uh, actually nobody invited me, I just jumped in. Uh, and thank you <laughs> and thank you for uh, uh, giving us your time. I definitely think it's a big topic and uh, important to be very transparent about the uh, pending accounts. We have thousands of them, okay? And that, in that number is included with the overall count that we know the 675,000, uh, 575,000, some of them, some thousands are pending, okay? When a registration happens, we count it's a registration. And <clears throat> typically those come in either intentionally uh, to, to remain pending or somebody actually subscribed, uh, believing they will uh, look more into it, but they never do, so they will die out. Uh, some motive that happens, some people come in and you know, register for free, 10 accounts with that scenario. What they do is they hold them and they will try to sell them either at a higher level, okay, that is not ethical, okay? Uh, like a different price, basically you're profiting from the company. Or we can discuss the other scenario, which I'm a leader, I come in and uh, quickly I wanna hold uh, the, the date I come in for my friends or fellow leaders. I come and say, look, Angie, okay, I have an account from 2019 uh, I knew you're going to jump in here, but to make it more attractive to you. So I have an account, either I already paid for it or I'll pay for it. I'll give you that. We can discuss that. That is, you know, it's a marketing strategy. I don't think it's a, a crime or a violation. Uh, it's just a style. It's okay. But I want you to know if anybody offers you at a, uh, price uh, at, at a higher level than $97 or equivalent to that in any currency, uh, you shouldn't do that. 
even if it's day one in, in business, okay? Uh, we wanna keep it transparent and ethical. There will be uh, a window to profit even before we open the doors for the main launch of Unpassive. So uh, we don't want exceptions. We don't want under the table deals or backdoor. Let's keep it straightforward. The cost is $97 for a very limited time. I promise you super duper limited time. And that's it. Once uh, that price is done, as I heard Red was talking, uh, let's say so-and-so date will be the launching date of Unpassive, the official global launch that you are going to see it on the media, okay? This disruptive company launch for this ridiculous amount of dollar, this is what you get. There's going to be a lot of talk everywhere about Unpassive. You will hear it. When that day, which we all will know, that is day one on your 365 days. So it will reoccur for you sometime in 2022. When the renewal of the founder position occurs and we will take $997 from your profit in the wallet with your permission. We don't do it, we don't hijack it. Okay, okay, you, you gotta give us a permission. If you say, yes, I'm interested, we'll do it. As Red said, the, there are some cases where somebody will not qualify, will disqualify to remain a founder based on their uh, behavior within the 12 months as a founder. If they're negative, if they're misusing the system, abusing the, the structure, any ethics, integrity issues, that is severe. We will not renew them as a founder and possibly not even as a user if it's that extreme, okay? Uh, so $97 will give you a whole year for the first year, then the $997 forever from uh, your profit. And it's optional, you don't have to do that. So if you have been with us any day after, uh, before uh, the, the, the main launch I, I just talked about, that's extra, you're not paying for that as a founder. If it's two months or two years, that's all bonus. You're not paying a month, a monthly, or it's not even counting two years. You didn't pay another $97 or another $997. So uh, that's, that's really over deliver in a nutshell. So uh, we don't have much probably a couple of dozens with a, a, a couple of, uh, no, I don't think there are a couple of dozens. They're, they're probably under a dozen, say a handful from 2018. Under two of our leadership councils, some you know from the early, and that's it. So those are over. Somebody try to offer you that doesn't exist. 2018, we don't have many pending, okay? Or, probably by now any. The second thing, 2019, we have some left. Here's the thing, 2019, uh, for some reason we had more pending ratio versus conversion. So 20, uh, 20 we had more uh, serious uh, uh, founders. They came in, they bought right away. So fewer pending 20, you, you can look at your back office, 2020, we don't have many. So 2019, which is over a year, okay, now some of them are in value, like invaluable, why? Because if somebody was really serious, they had more than a year to decide a $97 decision. They didn't complete their uh, homework to uh, investigate on passive and believe in it, an entire year is unlikely to happen in the next uh, remaining window before the official launch. So ultimately they will be wasted positions. Unless we offer them to some of the go-getters, some of the actual leaders and founders who are working as an incentive to the founder, <clears throat> we don't mind giving them those positions pending. If, if you have a pending and you did not convert them in well over a year, don't count on that. You, you Today you have chance, okay, because we either flush them out, delete them, I tell you, that's it, we re reset the counter, done. 
or we say if somebody is willing to put the effort and gain them, yeah, they deserve to take that position instead of a dead position. We're not talking, so it's not pending, it, it's, it's dead. Any time over three months or six months, that's more than enough for a $97 decision. We're not giving them a week trial, a month trial. We, it took a year. And if somebody didn't see the power or didn't move their belly for like a year, a year and a half, what do you need them for? Okay. So just let them go and let somebody else benefit from them. Here's what's in it for you. There's a company called Unpassive Launch with 600,000 founders or 60,000 or 1.2 million. Whichever happens, it has an effect on you as overall customer-based company. So if we launch with 600,000, that's good. If we have 20,000, 10,000 pending, and we can convert them, that is better for you. And maybe some of those, some will be as good and they take advantage in the remaining time. And then they bring another 20,000 instead of a dead spot. Now we gain, let's say 50, 100,000 as a collective community. What does this mean? You are in a bigger, a stronger uh, company. That's what it is. So that is, uh, a sensitive topic, I I couldn't hold myself to jump in. Uh, and that's why the answer is longer than what I heard before. Uh, it is important. We don't do any unethical, uh, uh, wishy-wash uh, stuff in on passive. Okay? We study, we measure, we calculate, we over-calculate, recalculate before we make a move. So do not take it as it's... Uh, it's a bribal thing or anything. Hey, if you have a position and you can convert 10, I'll give them to you today. They're dead. I'm talking about old, old, old position. We'll give them to you uh, as long as you sell them. But if you're not going to sell them in a month, we, we know that or a week. And, and what do I mean by that is you're not benefiting the overall. So we're just wasting a position. So don't pay too much attention to the uh, 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 you know, who's taking them and all that. We are taking them as, as one unit, one community. That's another beautiful thing about Unpassive. It's not your team, my team, her team. It's our team, it's our thing. We will not make it a design that uh, we have a, a loophole where everybody can manipulate their position on the shoulder of others. Whatever we do, it has to benefit and serve all of us. That's the only way we can succeed. There's no you succeed, I succeed, they succeed. We succeed. That's the only way I envision it. So it's okay, you have, forgive me, you have a trash thrown out, has no value, don't take it Literally, okay, because we're human, we're not trash, okay. But it can be a bogus email. Somebody did a test, so it's, it's a pending account. Somebody did, you know, profanity. They're just testing, okay. So why am I going to leave that as a trash when I have the ability to convert it into a viable position? Some human can benefit. That is the sponsor the actual new founder who took that position, and then all of us as on passive uh, family. So I hope you ease off that tension and just like instead of something thrown outside, uh, if we can turn it into a benefit to somebody, it shouldn't bug you, come on, shouldn't bother you. Can Sorry, Ash, can I just, it's Andy Vokes. Yes, Andy, because, good to see you. Um, uh, and you, sir. Thank you, first of all. Um, uh, I, I originally joined in 2020, and I have a number of pending founders that that um, uh, uh, was acquired through advertising through the uh, through the co-ops initially. Um, ra rather than lose these on uh, because some of these I, I have never answered, never responded to any of the uh, uh, the contact that we've tried to make. Uh, w would it be possible for us to buy those pending founders for our friends and family? And 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 keep the date stamp at that point. 
Yes, definitely. That's that's the the trade we're keeping the same date and stamp like well what's the point you know we can flush them out and open a new account so at least the incentive is to uh keep a, a good date uh more than a year and it's it's a good treat for somebody who's joining like they need that little kick why not yeah you can go ahead and buy them okay and um <laughs> Uh, at the moment, it's not possible financially, but um, um, uh, obviously we, we, we will have a, a short period of time before we launch to the world anyway. Um, it, it's at that point I'm hoping that things will have changed in, in such a way that that will give us that opportunity. So rather than they be thrown away at that point, at, just before launch or, or on launch. We will not go with begin... pending accounts. You're right. Yeah, no, we no. will not take okay. Yeah. So will we be given the option at that just before we go to launch? Do you want these or, or do we? There might not be them? any left by the time, you know, because they're little and they're, uh, <laughs> they're, they're not many in 2020. So they're like more in 2019. Okay. All right. Thank you, yeah. sir. Thank you. Thank so you it's so not much, like that severe that we have to discuss it and, and put a lot of attention. We're going to focus on the, Real uh, uh, visionaries who see it. Yeah, go ahead, Red, please. No, no, I thought you'd finished. But carry on. Listen, you got the flow. No, but I'll, I'll, I'll jump in there, um, Ash. With, with, please. Pendant found, with Pendant Founders now, it's $97. If someone who's Pendant goes into soft launch, they're going to be paying the new price, whatever that's going to be, in soft launch. They will no longer be afforded the $97. That is current, so it's important that founders and others understand that. So let me tell you something. When I opened the uh, uh, founder position in 2018, uh, we didn't have GoFounders. We didn't have uh, multiple websites. We didn't have uh, hundreds of employees. We didn't have buildings. We didn't have this hectic, uh, massive uh, operation that we have today, and we didn't even announce a fraction of the ecosystem or the technology uh, uh, products and, and AI products that we have today. So the evaluation was based on then, but was just more theoretical hope and uh, plan. I said, I got a plan. This is what I'm going to do. I, I don't have it yet. Let me see how it goes. Okay. But I will find a way to do it. I promise you that. From day one, I said, I'll do it or die. I didn't die. That's the good news. And I think I did it. <laughs> uh, so uh, <laughs> I, I think I was able to even gain more, more momentum, more power, and more uh, with, with your support uh, to be able to even stack the cool. So we ended up with something better. It's like you get in the car, you want to take your child or somebody to, let's go to the supermarket two blocks away. Yeah, okay, let me think about, okay, yeah, you go. Next. So you get in the car, it's a beautiful sunny day, let's go to the beach. Ah, change plan, but to the better. I'll take that. Okay. Uh, so when I did it, the, the value wasn't a tenth of what we have today. Uh, yesterday, we just discussed with the team, uh, the, the managers, that they want to multiply the price of the founders in the soft launch, and they want to call it light on passive, L-I-T-E. Because you're going to have access to the products, usable products, more than we told you in the beginning. You have a full blown away membership that is not a click funnel or uh, a five dollar script. Okay, uh, it's it's a it's like made like six times now. This is the sixth time we're rebuilding uh, this. I mean, the the hosting, the cloud hosting invoice, the monthly for go founders alone it can buy every script made in the industry on this area collectively one month hosting i, I can prove it to you 
And I can show you all the garbage there and the most expensive one of them. And we can add them, crunching the numbers, and I'll show you the exact AWS invoice just for GoFounders. So the value has increased like dramatically. And that's their uh, logic. They, they said, we've got to put a bigger price. And we're offering commissions, that bonus for the founders in the last you know, period of, of uh, launching process before we take off. Uh, and we're sending uh, traffic to the founders. They refuse the, the, the projected price level. I'm talking about the 97, the 149, even 200. They're talking about multiple that amount but of course we get to decide i will discuss with the leadership council we will not do something uh out of greed or uh, it has to make sense in fact the the price uh that they suggested i refused it knowing that it will be uh, there's an affordability issue and it's greater than the subscription for own passive And some suggested that we should keep uh, the founders as a separate uh, package moving forward with the, a more proper uh, revamped uh, pricing policy. What does this mean? Meaning we are at a point where kind of reject, refusing the, the ridiculous price rate for $97, like it's bugging us, like we cannot take it anymore. So it is very uh, uh, like short window, as Michael said, they're, they're not gonna pay $97 in the future. And a little bit after that, they will not get it for any amount. That's my strategy. So uh, I, uh, I wanna tell you why, okay, you can have that. Let me, let me try to get two objects on my we're gonna get one highlight and one pen. Okay, well, we're gonna, so this is a highlight, okay, a highlighter, okay, see that? And this is a regular pen. Let me back up a little bit. So they did an experiment in Russia, scientists, and they brought this to a monkey, a handsome monkey, just like me. And they showed two things, banana and apple at the same time, like blindfolded, open the, uh, you know, take a look, banana, apple. This is what the monkey did. And it's almost identical to my face, like this, this. Okay, this, this, looking left and right, left and right. You give too many options, you procrastinate the decision and nothing happens. So look in here, it's not eating banana, not eating apple, neither, okay. From a marketing perspective, if you show the same thing, chew, I'm gonna look, founder, on passive, user, too many options, too many packages, what do I choose? No, this is what we're gonna do. Not that you're a monkey, I'm the monkey, but we're gonna give you boom. So when they did the, this to the monkey, they did banana right away peeled it and, and, and we can learn something from the monkey. You know how they peel the banana upside down, not from the stem, you know, uh, uh, stem uh, side. So you have to do it from the bottom. So they know how to open, uh, to, to, to peel a banana. So you might think, of course, banana, no, they did it with the apple. Boom, immediately, instantly, without thinking. So the logic of it, when you give too many options, you confuse, okay, nobody goes on. What do we eat? Okay. Give too many options. This is what we, get, what we got for dinner tonight. That's it. One option. You will be more productive and you choose for it. So that's my philosophy in marketing and selling the products of Unpassable. I'll give you an option. You got no other way, but I make it so irresistible. I peel it for you. I prepare it. It's just you will be faster than a monkey on a banana tree, peeling, peeling, peeling. Uh, 
Uh, she said, from Russia, it might be me among people, not you. <laughs> but, what is uh, that? My question, if that's from Russia, the monkey, it might be me, not you. So. <laughs> 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 and my question is about a uh, very quick question. If a founder doesn't have enough money to activate uh, the mainland, and they, it takes uh, two months to get that money. so he has to renew founder's position after 12 months of that point or from the launch? One of the benefits of the founders is you're very welcome. You uh, will hold that position. It's guaranteed, it's locked in, okay? We, uh, we deliver, okay? So you're gonna have that position, it's not gonna change and you are, uh, not going to lose because of affordability so we're going to work on different uh you know points number one we're going to try to make it affordable to everybody that's one one way to look at it the other way is we're going to give you enough window in the uh or the opportunity in the remaining launching period pre-launch if you want to call it to build up that cost to 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 cultivate the uh to accumulate the the cost of the package. If 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 you have any motion in in a couple of weeks, you will be able to gather this amount. That's another reason. So the amount should be affordable by default. Two, you have a, a window organically. If you're not working now, work on it. You know it's coming. Third, okay, use and take advantage of the bonus to retain your $97, recover it, and uh, put uh, some couple hundreds on the side so that you will pay for your position. The other thing is uh, we will not you know, delete or suspend or deactivate. You are gonna have the position. We will make a, 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 like a minimum activation fee uh, there are a, a few scenarios, okay? You will be able to have it, you have access partially, but for example, you will not, uh, uh, you know, collect funds unless it's fully paid. And you might be able to also use the initial uh, days of, uh, of launch to, uh, to also accumulate that cost. Once you have it, that's it, it goes on, that's it you will have three and it will be paid for. So there's a couple of ways to, to go around it. You shouldn't worry about that. What I'm trying to, to do, we're gonna work with you as a founder, okay? Uh, we're not gonna let you go. We're not gonna aggravate you in any way. So it, it will be admission friendly. Now, you might say, I have bought 27 accounts. I tell you, what was your plan? What were you thinking? So if I bought 27 accounts, I would have had a plan either to pay for them and build them and do that. I have bought hundreds of accounts before in other uh, businesses, but I had a plan. I didn't expect it to be given to me. But that's, again, that's the exception, the norm. Everybody should be able to afford it. So in general, on passive is made to improve your life, to simplify it, not to, to add money to your uh, uh, balance, not to take money of you, to make it possible, accessible to you. All of that, I mean, considering that, uh, then uh, if, if you really believe in that theory, then you shouldn't worry. As we're not here to profit. Question? Yeah. Uh, thank you, first of all, for coming in the first uh, Q&A for founders only. I appreciate that. Uh, always welcome to hear your voice. Thank you. Uh, My pleasure. Uh, and regarding also to the bananas you mentioned on the monkey, you know, I tried that, feeling it from the bottom. It actually works much better. <laughs> yeah. Um, a question that Andy mentioned and you've answered him, um, and regarding to the pending founders, 
uh, at one of the webinars, you've mentioned, Ash, that uh, uh, it will no longer have dates stamped until you actually pay for the account. Does that stand today or have it changed? Peter, okay, so uh, it worked for like a minute. This sounds so you you were asking about the uh, date stamp for future people, or so the, it will work always. We're going to go by the registration time. There are periods where we will go by the activation. Uh, okay, so when we are activating a certain like there are brackets we have from so and so uh, date to this date. It will be registration. We open that for the pending. You remember that transfer button, okay? Those will consider the uh, 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 the the registration date. Obviously, the previous date. Uh, then you have some that uh, the uh, uh, like some brackets of time where we have only the activation date when you made a payment, the the uh, the payment time, and. Uh, it's more from overall, it's more, uh, it will be by the registration form uh, date. And so many are, they're the same date. Like obviously the vast majority, they come same date, they activate the account. I went to get a banana, that's what I did. So, so you don't open it from here, typically the easy one. That's how you do it. You pinch it here, okay? Aha, uh -huh. that's why you see the monkey so happy. It's because it's easy. The other way. I just wasted banana, but I hope you got the lesson. It works every time, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> that's indeed. All right, are we good? Uh, I'll step away if you want to continue. Okay, thanks very much, Ash. Uh, we've got uh, Dwayne Murdoch. Uh, Dwayne, do you want to unmute yourself? Give us your question. Yes, me and a few of my guys were talking and we wanted to know if there was going to be a difference in the price of a founder's position as a customer versus a corporate position as a customer versus a small business position as a customer. Okay, thanks, Dwayne. Uh, anybody want to answer this? Shout up. Go for Antonio. Hello. Hello, Ash. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Dwayne, for your question. Um, in my concern, it will be uh, only one price for everybody. Uh, the package, it's, it will be one price for everybody. Am I right, Ash? Yeah, one hundred percent. Fantastic. You don't, need to ask, you don't need to even ask, Mr. Ash. The reason Ash. you don't need to is he's totally fair. Our CEO is. Can't hear you, Cindy. Wait. Sorry. Are you under the bed? Yeah. No, I'm not. You can't hear Come me up. at all. Yeah, you're hiding. You now, yeah, <laughs> we can't hear you, but very low. Yeah. I'll be darned. I wonder why. I don't, You're good I, now. I'm, I'm having a few issues, but you know, there's no favoritism. I have here. several hundreds. It's you listen it's to them. One thousand percent fair. <laughs> anyway, uh, so it doesn't matter whether you're a, a a huge corporation or just a little guy. You know, you're going to get in it for the same money, and that's what I love about this wonderful company, and loved it from the get go. That this is a you know, equal opportunity business, one that's going to change the world because it is equal. No more corporate greed. We are an equality company where we were all uh, connected. And that's pretty wonderful, got to tell you. Right. One more thank thing, you. Cindy, to add, uh, thank you, uh, that our uh, tech teams want to uh, survey the founders. 
So with the new uh, GoFounders platform, you're gonna see a survey. Uh, they want to know, are you using the um, passive technologies for business or uh, in the, like, you know, they wanna see your, your background in a way. So that has to do with the nature of the uh, development, how they do that. So they wanna have an idea about our customers, okay, that you, all the founders, what is your motive? Can, can, Gosh, I Ash, can I can I answer? Can I step in just really quick, Andy? Excuse me. Uh, the because I, I I just from my own experience with all the founders that I have visited with, uh, I think every one of them, first and foremost, they're they love the concept of this, that they could actually earn money, whether it be with the uh, company products or with the company helping them build their business. Um, but their first goal is to learn and to, they don't, they don't, most don't know. Now, even the ones that do, they still became a founder because they want to increase their income. At least that's been my experience. Anybody else have any more to add to that? Andy, take it away. You know, everybody's going to be a customer, so you will not see the money or have any talk about the money before you become a customer. We're 100% customer-based business, and uh, we are a product and value-driven type of business. And up until now, because I am like thinking, you have three more minutes, I believe, Mari Di Garmo, uh, to wrap this up. So let me throw a... a a bomb and leave, okay? Can I do that? Go for Ash. So uh, you you know uh, the massive value, like you've got the whole world of digital planet in your hand for a ridiculous price. And by the time you have three sales, nobody, doesn't matter who makes those sales, the company, your team, you, uh, you know, Mother Nature, whatever, whatever happens, you got three sales, your business is uh, covered and uh, that is already massive. What do you get in return? There's no company will give you the value that you're getting or the many products or the uh, cumulative impact of what we have in Unpassive. So the last thing I wanna say, you think so far you got a lot of digital products and everybody's a user and all that, but for the first time ever, I wanna uh, let you know, I think some of you curious enough to have uh, picked up this idea before. I hinted or maybe knowing me, we also have physical products in Unpassive, okay? Not just digital, so it's not digital. We have disruptive, okay, products. I'm gonna say this on the public here. One of our products is being reviewed and, and, and thought after from the United States military, army, some other, uh, this is how crazy it is and, and it's done. And we have found uh, manufacturing abilities and all. So it's, it's not about the money. We're talking about life safety. We're talking about ch children's safety. I mean, women security, uh, it's, it's made, you know, for the humans. So I cannot go further because it's public. I want to leave some juice for the uh, webinars uh, and the founders' uh, privacy. But uh, if you think you know on passive, it's half. Oh, you're leaving me? Okay, I'm done. That's my family. They saw you work too much. We're just gonna live in another house. I've got room, Ash. I've got room. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. You have enough food? Of course. <laughs> I yeah, love it. Have, so have uh, there you go. It's not about the money. It's, it's about really making a difference and improving our life using technology and our brains. It's a company with heart and brain. Thank you, everybody.
Have Thank a pleasant you. day. I, I enjoyed the time with you. Yeah. Let me Thank try you to uh, you, uh, my family. Thank you. Okay. Bye, Thank Ash. you. Wonderful. Bye, Ash. Thank Thank you. Thank you, Ash. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, Ash. Bye-bye. Bye, Ash. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Marty and... DeGarmo. Yeah. Marty DeGarmo. <laughs> we, are, so, we are at the hour and a half stage. Yes, we now, are. Thank you. I'd just like to say uh, two thank yous. Uh, in fact, three, actually. Thank you, uh, our CEO, Ash McFrad, for popping on. Uh, really, really nice of him to come on and share his wisdom with us and answer some of the questions for you, the founders. Um, thank you, especially to all the panellists who have turned up today to ask questions uh, and help us out on this very first Q&A session. I hope everyone has enjoyed it. I hope it has had uh, some uh, answers uh, answered for you that you know now from the horse's mouth, not just from us people, but from the horse's mouth uh, of what is right and what is wrong. If you guys want to do this again, we can organise another Q&A. I think it went fairly all right. I don't think there was too many hiccups. Thank you, especially to Julie, for diving in there when it was needed to fill in. OK, we'll, it will only get better and it will be refined. But for now, we said we we're going to keep to the 90 minutes. We've all got busy lives and we will come back with more Q&A next week. Thanks very much, guys, and we'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Boom. Thank you, guys. You too, Appreciate oh, it. Thank you. Too. Thank you. Bye. It was a great Thank webinar you. question. Bye. Thank you, Red, Marty, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Marty. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.